Hello again friends, this is Rehan and in this third tutorial we are going to see why life ray is popular in technical aspects. Uh, in the last tutorial we saw why life ray is popular in business aspects but in this tutorial we are going to see why it is popular in technical aspects. For developers uh, in what are the ways we, we this, uh, it is very advantageous. Okay. So it is very easy to set up and develop a portal. Yes, comparing to other uh, other uh, other portal developing tools like uh, uh, WebSphere and those things and all, you can just easily set up and develop the uh, developer portal within three days. So you can you can just completely finish the complete portal. Yes, that's very you know, that's a popular feature in Library. Okay, so you just can uh, just need to extract the files, uh, which I will be telling in the in the next tutorials. Uh, and uh, you can just uh, within three minutes you can just set up the library. You can just extract the file and you can just uh, do some configuration modification and that's it. You can just uh, run the library and you can just start designing your own portal. So it is very easy to set up and develop a portal. Okay, and it is highly customizable and has extremely flexible tools to administer. Yes. Uh, life ray can be customized on any part of it if you want to change the logo position of the logo animation banner and this is a theme level and if you want to add a new portlet or if you want to add a th third party portlet or uh, into a life ray everything is possible it is highly customizable and it also has highly flexible tools to administer like uh, if you want to change the desk database you can just go on and change the configuration and everything is uh, it it, everything in the library has provided it so it is very highly customizable and has extremely flexible tools to administer okay and the next point is it has uh, it has JSR uh, 168 specification JSR 286 specification JSR 127 specification and JSR 208 specification so actually these specifications are like these are the uh, standard uh, st standard for standard for portlet uh, this JSR 168 and 286 is a standard for portlet 1.0 and 2.0 and uh, this uh, this JSR 2127 is, uh, is for JSF standard and this JSR 208 is for Java business integration standard so the so these are the various standards that type of supports i will be telling you about this in a separate tutorial so you don't have too much concentrate on this or actually it will follow the standard so that's what uh, i want to tell in technical aspects okay and uh, and the next point is it is bundled with more than 60 out of box portlets so the life rate tool if you install it it comes with 60 different 60 out of box portlets with that itself you can just develop a complete portal on normal website okay you don't have to install website from new portal from the from the portlet from the store or you don't have to create a new portlet life itself uh, like those life developers you know they have they themselves they have created a portlets the, that can be just drag and drop and can be uh, easily, easily used so that's the main advantage of uh, life right? And uh, and this same portlet can be used across various websites. Yes, uh, uh, from uh, from one user login itself, you can administer various websites. Suppose if you want to administer uh, three school websites and three college websites, uh, you can just uh, from uh, from a single administration control panel, you can you can control all those uh, six websites under it. So okay, and also if you want to use one portlet that you have designed for one school across the other three school portlets, uh, you can also you, you can also make the scope uh, that it can be used across these three websites. That is also possible. As I told in the last point, you can administer many websites from a single user. Yes, as I already told in the last point, I have given an example. Uh, if you want to administer uh, three different school websites and two college website you can just uh, from a single user itself you can you can administer all those five websites okay <laughs> and the last point is life has inbuilt api like ay for responsive website and easy workflow and content management and generate 
various web services yes a library has my apis like ay that is used for developing a responsive theme so you don't have to write a css file for a, for a responsive website i know the serial developer uh, you have to write a lot of css and those things and all to develop a responsive website but uh, library itself it provide api called uh, ay which and this is uh, the which is the feature of 6.5 6.2 from which you can just uh, write only few codes uh, that library itself will build a responsive website okay and also you can also um uh, and you can also have a, a workflow and content management you know workflow means uh, that approval that if you are going to publish a content it will go through approval of your manager and after your manager approved the content will be displayed in that website so something like that we will discuss about this topic in depth in the upcoming tutorials and content management which you know and that managing of contents and all generate various web services means like uh, life itself has a uh, api so from there we can generate uh, various web services but like json and those things and all using that api you can generate a json course which i will explain in the upcoming tutorials so remember these points uh, so this is why life is popular in technical aspect hope you guys uh, like my video do subscribe and uh, comment if you have any doubts and uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye